have an exact date for you. And then on the call with the Russian counterpart, with Minister Belusov, mm -hmm. um, this is now two calls in two and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. Was this was this one also initiated by Secretary Austin? And and it certainly seems like these are more common than they've been over the course of two and a half years of the last two and a half years. Is is this to be expected to continue? Will there be a more regular pace of of discussions here between the two? This call was initiated by the Russian Minister of Defense. Um, in terms of future calls, you know, of course, nothing to announce. But as the secretary has said, and um, what I also mentioned at the top, is that uh, maintaining lines of communication is incredibly important right now. Um, and so if there are future calls, we'd, we'd read those out as well. And was there any specific reason given about Yeah, why? I just don't have any more to provide at this time. Thanks, Sabrina. Uh, President Zelensky has insisted that lifting all restrictions so you, Ukraine can strike military targets within Russia would be a, quote, game changer, and that Ukraine needs to hit those targets and able to win. Um, what's the Pentagon's assessment of that? So I think the president spoke to this um, uh, very directly yesterday at his press conference. Um, our policy hasn't changed. Uh, we do allow those cross-border strikes when Russia is attacking uh, from the other side of the border. And as the war has changed, um, we have changed, our policies have adapted. Um, and you've seen that play out in Kharkiv and it could expand into other areas. But right now, um, we have not authorized the use of attackums for deep, stri deep strike capabilities within Russia. Um, and I have to remind you, they have other long-range capabilities that are not provided the United States. Um, but in terms of our policy, that has not changed. So, so what's this coming from then? Because throughout the week at the NATO summit, Zelensky was pretty adamant yeah. um, that this is a game changer. Uh, so, so, so is that just not true? Look, of, of, of course, you're going to advocate on behalf of your country. Uh, you know, we don't take any issue with that. Uh, our policy still remains the same. Uh, we believe that Ukraine continues to be successful in the battlefield. With our policy in place, we've been able to see them hold and strengthen their lines around Kharkiv. Um, could our policy, could they be allowed to use it into other areas? Um, we are always adapting. And as the war has changed, um, our policy has changed. Um, but of course, we are always mindful of escalation. And that's something that um, is the reason why we have the policy the way it is. Constantine. Thanks, Sabrina. Um, you mentioned, uh, you sort of said that if the piers are re-anchored mm -hmm. twice, is there a world where the re-anchoring attempts are scrubbed and this is the, you know, the pier has done the last work it, it will do? It really depends 